just remind you all who have lived this that we're going through yet another change in our culture, and that's a hard thing to do. So you've got to find ways to reinforce, to embed in the culture in order for us to sustain this. Uh, Dave's first slide this morning said that military operations are uniquely human endeavors and that there is a continuous state of adaptation. If we can remember that, I think across every element of the institutional domain in our United States Army, we'll do great. But I don't want to forget that there's a tension that we've got to address, and that is the tension between the context of an army which is reducing its size, has less fiscal resources, and therefore would normally and naturally move back in the direction of control. Mission command is all about the building of trust between leader and led, and uh, that's something we're going to have to work very hard at over the next couple of years, given the current context of this profession of arms. Thank you. Dave, uh, before we go uh, on your last point, you talk about uh, case studies. Uh, does that include historical case studies you guys do that? It is. Uh, in the leader challenge program that Caldo came up with, we have, for example, 18 vignettes, interactive video based, and about uh, ten of those are stories about what it is to be a lieutenant or a junior officer in field. The remainder have to do with home station studies, so they apply to every program. We just did a wonderful uh, uh, visit down to Fort Benning and did an MTT on the Leader Challenge program, and that focus was about home station challenges. So uh, the case studies are certainly available, and I know that at CAC they're doing similar case studies uh, at the CGSC. Thanks.